Fractures and breaks are commonly misconceived as being different when they are in fact one and the same. Um, they represent an injury to the bone in which some may call it a crack, some may call it a break, or even and in our case, and often in the surgical uh, field, we call it a fracture. Uh, around the foot and ankle, there are a number of bones that may sustain a fracture, one being the tibia, also the fibula, um, as well as the talus bone, or even the calcaneus. You can also sustain fractures or breaks, as we're uh, discussing, uh, of the toes, or also uh, bones extending to the toes. Fractures are often looked at, uh, from our point of view, from being either stable or unstable. Stable fractures are those that are, can often be treated conservatively, and these can occur, as we mentioned before, in a number of the bones of the foot and ankle. Unstable fractures uh, often occur as a result of higher energy uh, injuries or mechanisms such as car accidents, significant falls from heights, uh, and often the bone may have, be broken into multiple pieces, or the fracture may extend into the ankle joint and potentially damage the cartilage. What separates, or the difference of a stress fracture, is that often stress fractures around the foot and ankle occur in response to a repetitive activity. Often these are fractures that are stable, that can be treated conservatively. There are in some cases, however, and unfortunately, stress fractures in very high stress regions that may require surgery uh, for the best treatment and outcome. Often patients present to us uh, either from uh, athletic activities, uh, as a referral from physical therapists, from other physicians, even from athletic trainers, as well as self-referral. Uh, and in these cases, the first uh, step in assessment is doing a physical exam. Uh, we examine their foot and ankle region uh, and try to establish and pinpoint where their injury may be. We also use this as a foundation to determine whether they need additional imaging. Uh, if additional imaging is needed, we often start that with a standard x-ray. Uh, and then from that information, we will determine if any further imaging uh, is needed prior to starting the treatment plan. Treatment is variable and crosses a spectrum. Uh, and when individuals have stable fractures, these are ones that we often feel can be treated conservatively and without surgery. In those cases, patients may have a period of modified weight bearing, which will consist of either being non-weight bearing or a period of protected weight bearing in a splint, cast, or boot, or a protective material. In the event of an unstable fracture, these often require surgery. Uh, and in those cases, we discuss with the patients whether they would, will need surgical intervention uh, and in what time frame. At the UPMC Foot and Ankle Center, we have uh, specialists who are well-trained in dealing with both stable and unstable fractures and other complex injuries. Uh, we have uh, specific training as orthopedic surgeons in dealing with these injuries and carrying patients through uh, a successful uh, treatment experience.